Hello everyone, welcome to our news of the day recap for January 26th, 2024. We got some smaller stories that we're not at. Our bigger stories for today are actually in our, we already did videos on them, so we figured we weren't going to put them into this video. Going forward, we're probably going to double up a little bit just so we make sure we get the biggest stories in this video as well. But for today, we had three ones that we thought were big enough to have their own video, so we'll stick with those. The first one is LeBron James sets a NBA record for most all-star appearance, appearances. Uh, it was previously held by Kareem, who had 19, uh, so they were tied for that last year, and now this year it's 20. I mean, really, it's interesting because, you know, as good as LeBron's been his whole career, LeBron is just going to have every stat, <laughs> I mean, because of the longevity portion of this. Like, I, nobody's been this good for this long, right? I mean, it's it's crazy. It truly is crazy, uh, especially because, you know, LeBron isn't even a seven-footer, right? It's not like he's, you know, part of the reason a lot of these, like someone like Kareem, I mean, the dude was over seven feet tall, and he had the sky hooks, right? So you can kind of understand, well, that guy probably can play a long time. LeBron, as well as he took care of his body, you know, he's still kind of, he deals with, you know, he needs his strength, his athleticism. You know, he could shoot, but that's never necessarily been the best part of his game. So, had to blow to LeBron on his 20th All-Star selection. Um, we'll see if anyone will ever beat that. But to be fair, with advanced medicine and all this stuff that they got going on now, you know, better shoes, kind of this resting, who knows? There, the, the, that There's a chance it gets broken just based off the fact that, uh, you know, you have all of that going for you. All right. Let's move back to the NFL. This is this is talking about the Lions versus the 49ers. Interestingly enough, Jared Goff can kind of get himself into a um into in a pretty good company. Uh there's only been four other QBs ever to take two separate teams to the Super Bowl, uh two separate franchises, we should say, because obviously teams could be on the same under the same franchise, but the ones Craig Morton, Kurt Warner, Tom Brady, and Peyton Manning are the only four quarterbacks who, as a part of two separate franchises, went to the Super Bowl. Goff obviously went with the Rams. Now he has a chance to take the Lions. So that would be a great company for him to be a part of. Uh, and it would be super interesting, too, um, to see how that goes. And our final story, Ravens activating Mark Andrews. Likely has played great. And he's been a big part of the offense, but man, with Mark Andrews, if he could play well, if he's if he's a hundred percent in, and you know we're looking at the, the article here from Pro Football Rumors that's discussing it, uh, you know he's going to be available, but how much is he available? You know, is he going to be himself? We're not sure, but even if he can give seventy five percent, right? If he could just give seventy five percent, he's going to be a huge boost to this team. Him and likely now both being able to play, it's it's going to be a big deal. So those are our headlines for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed listening to this. Let us know what you think. You know about LeBron setting the record, about Goff maybe joining pretty good company, right? Being only the fifth QB ever to lead two teams, two franchises to the Super Bowl. And Mark Andrews, do you agree? Is he going to have a huge impact? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. We will see you next time.